good. Hi, I'm Paul Fix the Third with Car Coach Reports, and we're here at Monticello Car Club today to test drive a bunch of the newest cars to hit the road in 2015 and 2016. I'm standing in front of the 2016 Bentley Continental GT V8S in apple green and just based on some of the lines, you can tell that they've really updated their technology, especially in the metal work. Now let's get in the car and see how it drives. So what's really interesting about this is that they super formed the metal. It's a technology that Bentley's using to make the panels bigger and smoother. So you can see that the metal follows this whole line and it actually bends. They use super heating to bend it to that exact angle, that exact curve that they really need to get this shape. Where in the old ones, there would be a split here or here to try to make more panels so that it would be easier to get the shape that they want. You can see here that they've done it again on the rear haunch, starting from the tail light and coming all the way up to the door panel and the entire roof is all one piece. Infinity Q50S and I gotta say it's really nice I mean besides the fact that it has active cruise control and lane assist which is really nice for a comfortable drive plus uh, Infinity Connect which is always great and with a plethora of features and apps that make driving more every day a lot more comfortable if you need to take it on the track or drive aggressively for any manner the the car revs to the high heavens it red lines at seven and a half and you can just throw it into corners and it has grip for days. I would have to say that this is a great car to bring in the track if you have a track day, but it's also really comfortable if you just need to cruise around. It's, it's, it's a nice balance between luxury and sport. This is the 2015 BMW i8, and as the name and style suggests, this car is futuristic design and technology combined into a vehicle that's made for the street. It's like BMW took a car that should be a prototype and made it a reality, made it a real production vehicle. It's still a gorgeous car, and I think it's a really important mark for what cars could be in the future. I want to talk about the 2015 Mini John Cooper Works Hardtop. It's been completely redesigned from the last generation and I used to own a 2009 Mini John Cooper Works Hardtop. The difference is staggering. The size is a little bit bigger and the design cues are a little more futuristic, a little, uh, pushing the edge, which is really what Mini is all about. That fun, quirky little niche design, but with all the fun that goes along with it. And I think the futuristic approach really, really lends to it. And BMW's been doing that with a lot of their vehicles. If you're familiar with BMW Connect, Mini Connect is in this vehicle. It's pretty much the same, works really well. And there's a lot of design cues that are different on here than on the regular Mini models. For instance, the uh, scoop in the front and the diffuser in the back and the spoiler. All of it meshes really well, especially with the uh, the different color choices that you have, uh, even the two-tone interiors, and you can customize exactly how you like it. I gotta say I'm a big fan. Jaguar F-Type S Coupe in manual and I gotta say uh, I've driven the uh, F-Type R which is the V8 version uh, in an automatic and I gotta say it's, it's pretty comparable the difference is obviously the amount of power and the fact that you can only get a manual in the V6 which is a personal gripe of mine because I like I like manuals but the car overall 
I'm still very, very impressed with. I was impressed this first moment that I got into the second I got out of the car after the, the drive around town and the test lap. All of the little features that you'd expect in a luxury car is built into this, plus all of the fun sporty features that you'd expect from Jaguar's long lineage of performance vehicles. Good. Talk about We're filming. Pop, pop music. Talk about. All right. That's on camera. Good. Your steering wheel, dynamic damper control, run flat tires, comfort access, keyless entry, rear spoiler, black bonnet stripes. You're just gonna cut all that audio. Mm-hmm. Thanks for watching, and remember, always check competitors and crash test ratings before buying a vehicle. I'm Paul Fix the Third with Car Coach Reports. We'll see you next time.